It's time once again to go racing. It does not get any better than this. The pressure is really on now. Yes, it's pole position. Lights out and we're racing in PSGL. The first lap has been absolute chaos. What an overtake. I've never seen anything like it. Side by side again. This will be settled right at the end. Orkmia oh, against Bruneman on the front row then. How is it going to pan out as the five red lights come on? And when they go out, we'll be go in Budapest. Lights out, away we go. And down towards turn one, who's going to get the jump? It looks like a great start from Altmir. And the Flying Dutchman is pulling alongside Budaman into turn one. Can he get the jump? Budaman breaks a little bit later to try and fend off the Dutchman. But Altmir has the high ground. But he will be on the outside for turn three. Can he try and make it work around the outside of Barry Budaman? He's going to try everything he can. But Budaman will squeeze him out there. Incredibly, Otmir keeps his foot in, moves alongside, and they're still side by side on the run up the hill. But Otmir finally has to concede, and Barry Bruneman retains the lead of the Hungarian Grand Prix. What a start here in PSGL. Wilson Hughes defends the inside. Louis Welch is he going to try and go right round the outside of the Alpha Tauri driver? On the inside, though, here comes Jos Nordijk up the inside on his soft tyre, and he makes it work and breezes past, makes light work of Louis Welch on the medium, and through he goes up into P6. Action everywhere on lap two out of 35. What a start we have here as Simon Perigny is in the pits at the end of this first lap. And here comes Ruben Pedrenio down the inside of Louis Welsh and he's going to make that one work. The soft tyres are working well at this stage and through goes Ruben Pedrenio up into seventh. Louis Welsh drops to eighth. Meanwhile, behind that, there's a plenty of action going on. Let's go on board with Yoni Tormala around the outside of Liam Parnell. That will give him the inside for the next turn and that is a very, very tidy move from Yoni Tormala. I love that. That one round the outside through two, set it up through three. Tormala is into the top ten. He has a penalty though, and now another outside oh, wow. move. This time on to Capua. No way! Oh, he goes off the track, has a little slide, and has to retreat and drop back to tenth. Wow, that would have been a bit crazy, wouldn't it? He really needs to clear Beresney right now, or the front two are going to disappear. Let's see if he can do that down the straight. Beresney defends to the middle of the track. Here comes Joshua Dolu. That will be easy as you like. Up he goes into third place. Now we can get after the front two, Burnamad and Otmir. As Jan Otmir on lap number 13, oh. he's coming into the box for a set of the hards. Well, he's blinking, he's blinking early. Jan Otmir going for the undercut then here at the Hungaro ring. This is it, the biggest pit stop of the weekend. The only pit stop of the weekend for Jan Otmir. That in lap was crucial. The out lap will be absolutely vital in this battle with Barry Burnaman. He's coming out the pit lane now. Is he going into clean air? That's the question. Look at the track map on the right-hand side. This is very important. Is he ahead or behind that Ferrari? Oh, he's just in front of Danny Beresney. Uh, or is he on the exit? Beresney, with warm tyres, might be able to make a move. And that would really hurt Otmir, but he can't. And Otmir now has seven seconds almost of clean air in front of him to work in, to now have a really quick outlap and bang, push, push, push like crazy to get ahead of Barry Bruneman. This is the race right here for Jano Otmir on lap 14 out of 35. But Wilson Hughes, though, on the rear of his teammate, you can see the blinking red lights of his fellow Alpha Tauri car, whether it goes for the to turn one or sets him up into turn two. I think it's going to be in towards turn two as off the exit of the first bend, the hairpin corner and now using some of the ERS to close to the rear of his teammate. Can he go up the inside? Indeed he does. Down the inside goes Wilson Hughes and now the two Alpha Tauris lock horns like Kvyat and Albon in 2019. Sensational stuff from Wilson Hughes to go up the inside of his teammate. I think there was a, a, a bit of mutual respect from Yoni Tormala as well to let his teammate go through without causing too much hassle for him. So far this afternoon, Pedrenio gets a little bit wobbly on the curb. He's in trouble now. Shinaka clears right there as well. We're going to be going three way down the street. Look at this incredible stuff. Through goes Shooter. Now Shinaka Clay down the inside on both cars. Shinaka Clay, two cars in one move up into P11. And the championship leader is on the charge back through the field. And now it is his time to go. I'd say easily past Louis Welch, unfortunately, with all due respect to the Padman. He's going to be no match for the king himself. 
Janaka Clay to go down in towards turn number one. Putting up a fight is Louis Welch and Jake Benham in behind goes up the inside of Simon Shooter. So the moves aren't me and they aren't done at this point in the race as Benham finds himself into P12 and now hunting down the Haas of Louis Welch. So his troubles going to continue on here, Andy. Surely that's time to blink. It is time to blink. In comes the Papaya McLaren into the pit lane. Let's see then where he rejoin. My guess would be just in behind Yoni Tomala as he stops on his marks, locks up those medium tyres there past the sale by date. Anyway, and into the box he comes now. On go a set of the Red Wall soft tyres. And now, Barry Burnerman can let the chase begin of Jarno Otmia. Is Jarno Otmia going to win his first race this season? Or is Barry Burnerman going to deny him? Here he comes then, out the pit lane. He's behind. Is he even behind her dad? He is even behind her dad. Wow, that's incredible. He needs to clear these guys now. Is he going to think about a move on Yoni Tomala into the chicane? He is oh. up the inside into the chicane. No. Bags wheels. That was brave from Buraman. It's cost him time more than anything else. And he collides with Yoni Tomala in his desperation to get through. And is this beginning to unravel for Barry Buraman? And that is going to soar past Wilson Hughes on his worn out hard tyres. And I don't think Barry Buraman is going to want to spend too much time behind the Alpha Tower. Is he going to go up the inside in the first corner? Indeed he is. Wilson Hughes. Hughes leaving him the space there and Barry Burman the Iranian sides up the inside Josh Adobu has emerged in P8 Josh Adobu is making moves down the start finish straight as is Barry Burman though on Daniele Haddad that's an important move and that means he'll be the first man on the scene of Jarno Otmia big move there from Burman finally now he's gonna have the opportunity to flex his muscles and go for an overtake as opening up the DRS here they go onto the main start finish straight it is gonna be Ferrari power against Mercedes He's bowing towards turn number one. Ferris Day slightly defending. Burman looks to the inside, fakes it, and he's going to set him up in towards turn number two. As off the exit, a slight slide from the Iranian car in towards turn number two. Can he go around the outside? Barry Burman trying to make this move stick on Ferris Day, who's defending with his life in towards now up the hill in towards turn number four. Is Burman going to think about it here? Oh, no, he's not, but it's still going to go right to the end, Andy. Two weeks ago, Furious, angry, wasn't happy with the rule book being flung at him. He was disappointed. He even threatened to leave the league. But this is how champions fight back. This is how one of the best there's ever been in the world of esports means to bounce back. This is how you do it here at the Hungara Ring tonight in round five of the championship. He felt he should have won his first race of the season last week. He'll certainly do it this week. Jan Watmir crosses the line and wins the Hungarian Grand Prix ahead of... Danny Beresley and Barry Budiman, what a strategy, he got it right and Jarno Opmia takes the checker flag and wins here in Hungary.